Good evening, Daniel. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Now, welcome back. I have Thank Oscar. You. Now, did you get the activity, uh, Daniel? Yes, I, I have my activity. Excellent. Great. So tonight's going to be a really nice uh, time in the English class. So we're going to learn. Everybody will learn. That is the purpose, right? Okay. <laughs> so be ready. What is the vocabulary you will teach tonight that you will show to everybody? Today... <laughs> No, today I review my notebook in Word. Okay. And I finished uh, write my my homework. Are you finished your homework? Sí, el, la tarea de hoy. <laughs> yeah, right. So activities, right? So you, Activity, you yeah, activity. You, yeah, all the activities. And what about the platform, uh, Daniel? How are you doing there? Yes, I I I enter information, I enter activities. Are you already finished? With it? Yes. With the three of them. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually right now you, you need to uh, you need to have finished like five finish five, five activities. Five see, yes. Yeah, five with the nice yes. activity. So hopefully uh we're gonna I learned a lot tonight. I can see Ronan over here. Hello, Ronan, Norma, Oscar, welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Uh, Norma, are you ready with the activity for tonight? Yeah, is it? Of course, teacher. Hello, Oscar, Edgar. Uh, Gladys is just getting into. Oscar, how's it going? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Oscar, are you ready with the activity for tonight? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Fantastic. Pretty cool. So we're going to share. We're going to share information, vocabulary, pronunciation, etc. Right? And uh, of course, the grammar. The grammar practice, which is very important. Remember, it needs to be an activity related to simple present tense. Okay, Ronan, how's it going? Hello, Ronan. Hi, Hi. Hi there. Hi. How's everything there? Hope you're doing well. Hi, Pamela. Okay, and Edgar, I don't know if you can listen to me. Edilson? Well, I will check the list of attendance as I, as I usually do it. Just let me know if you're there. This is the first time I will check the list of attendance at the beginning of the class, right? Uh, today, Friday, June the 23rd, right? Okay, hopefully everybody is just getting connected tonight. Uh, let me see, Aidan, Belen, Claudia Veronica. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Maribel. Edgar. Gladys. Present teacher. Okay, Gladys. Jonathan. Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Marta Berenice, Miguel Ángel, Noé Aníbal, Norma Xiomara, Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Antonio, Present teacher. Okay. Ronan, Teresa, Enveraliz. Okay, now first. Present, present teacher. No. Mm. Who said present? Uh, Oscar, right? 
Oscar Antonio. Now I have Berenice now. Welcome. Uh, Gladys you, Edgar. Okay, welcome. Well, let, me, let me see. Okay, Berenice is in the class now. Berenice. Okay, very nice. Sorry. Okay, people, welcome uh, once again. Now tonight is is um, an excellent night to practice, right? So we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of information, a lot of exercises, and you know uh, tonight it's very special because we are just going to have a review about everything we have studied so far. Okay, everything related to simple present tense. Now. I hope that you did Claudia's present. Okay, I hope that you did the homework assignment and that you that you are more than ready to share the information with the group. All right. Now, well, I will start in order to 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 start with everything I have prepared over here. Well, let's see now. Well, let me see what did you learn to that today, Daniel? What is the expression you learned today? Remember, you said a famous quote, motivational quote, a love quote, a love quote, a, a, a quote about love. Well, whatever that you want to learn in English will be all right. Okay, just let us know that you have been practicing English during the day. Uh, Daniel. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yes. Okay, that's the expression you learned tonight. It okay. is a pleasure to study English. Right? Excellent. <laughs> it's a pleasure to study English. Wow. What about you, Berenice? Good evening. Good evening, Mario. Good evening. Well, uh, I've grown up so fast. I've grown up so fast. Growing wow. up. I'm growing up. Okay, very good. So that's a new verb, right? Grow to to grow. Okay, thank you, Teresa. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day, all right. Excellent. Aníbal. No, you, you didn't you didn't learn. Do me the favor to, to activate your microphone, please, because we don't listen to you. Uh, I'm how is you? <laughs> yeah, now we can uh, listen to you. Uh, I'm very tired, teacher. I'm you're very tired. That's the expression you uh, learned. <laughs> to say that you uh, are very tired. Oh uh, in my sentences as follows. Uh, you only fail when when you stop trying. My sentences. Okay, very good. Can, can you do me the favor to type the sentence in the chat, please? Dijiten lo que aprendieron ahora en el chat, porfa. Michael? Good evening, Michael. Good evening, teacher. Uh -huh. Let us know about what you got today. Mm. Sentence. Yeah. Mm. Uh, when I, I can learn uh, other words in my in my job, but my boss uh, send me send me do. <laughs> okay, do the favor to type it in the chat, please, Michael. Belen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh, let us know what you got today in English. It's a beautiful day, all right, Teresa? Pretty good. Now, think about it, Belen, Mario.
Mario, are you there, Cristobal? Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I had a beautiful week in the work. <laughs> you had you had a, a beautiful weekend at work. Okay. Do you work on weekends? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, Maria Elba. And um, you are welcome. You're welcome. All right. Solo así énfasis así en como en español, verdad. De lo que me llamó la atención y que lo puede decir como con mucho gusto. Puedo decir así como you are welcome o como bienvenido igual se puede utilizar de las dos formas. Ah, ok, you are welcome, you're welcome. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. Then, Aidan. Hello, teacher. Hello, Aidan. Uh -huh. What did you learn to, to, today? Okay, you can see Oscar, Orca's uh, pronunciation about two, two, and two. All right, Oscar, you will let us know about Have a it. nice day. Right, hey, yeah. have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. Thank you, Belen. Now you got it, right? Uh, let me see. Now, Jonathan. No, Jonathan was not. We yeah, have Jonathan. Now, an expression you learned today. Good evening. Uh -huh. Okay. Um repeat, please. <laughs> yeah, did you did you learn a new expression today in English? A new expression in English? Yes. Yeah, which one? Which one, Jonathan? Happy tonight. Are you very happy tonight. All right. Thank you. Uh, Vera Liz. Hello. Hello, hello. Never get up. Yeah. You can do it. Pretty good. <laughs> Never give up. You can do it. Okay, Gladys, I think you're missing, right? Hello. Hello. You always have to smile in the face of adversity. <laughs> All right, good piece of advice, right? No matter about the situation, we need to smile. It is kind of difficult, but some, you know, we have to do it. Edgar, quite good, there at least. Edgar, are you there? Yeah, Nival, did you get another one? No. No, teacher. No. no, all right. Very good. <laughs> no, I think it's enough, right? So do me the favor to include your expressions in the chat so everybody can see it. Gladys says, you always have to smile in the face of adversity. Good. Never give up. You can do it. And, and uh, Oscar, I think Oscar has something to tell us. Antonio, right? Excuse me, teacher. Give me a bit. Now, did you learn an expression today? Or maybe vocabulary? Not really? Well, the first thing we're going to do is about activities, okay? But activities need to be done tonight so that I can... I can record your score in the document I usually, well, well, I will start with this and then we're gonna go to the activities that I told you before. Okay, now, what do you see over there? Now, wh whatever that comes to your mind, say, say it as quickly as possible, okay? Lo que se les venga a la mente, pues díganlo, Ok, lo más rápido posible. Si necesitan, you always have uh, blessings. Oh. Ok, blessings to everybody in module 2. My, my English team, oh, that's the expression you learned, Claudia. Fantastic. Blessings. Ok, 
Now, guys, remember, tonight is a special night because we need to practice. Practice over and over again about simple present. I will start with my with my activities. I know that you are willing to, to go with your activities, but I have my own. Now, say something positive and negative about the following things, right? Positive or negative, whatever that comes to your mind, as quickly as possible, okay? As quickly as possible. Number one, okay? Now here we go, okay? Say something about the, the image you see. Anybody in the group, please remember, time to practice. Que no les dé no este, pena eh, practicar. Ahorita vamos a pura práctica. Okay? Music. Ajá, so music. I like, I like music. I like music. I like. I like play football. I like to play football. I, I have a mobile phone. I have a mobile phone. I don't like al alcohol. I don't alcohol. like to drink alcohol. <laughs> I go to the dentist. I go to the dentist. I love reading. I love reading. I like milk. I, I like, like milk. to drink milk. I don't Careful. like weapons. I don't like weapons. <laughs> Careful with Work. Be careful of what you're going to say. Ten cuidado con lo que van a decir ahorita, ¿ok? Puede repercutir al final de la clase, ¿ok? I love to I love to go homeboy. Ya sabía, ya sabía que la mano de la mano. Ok, very good. Dos tareas menos para ahora entonces, ¿ok? Now. I like. I go to Paris. I like to go to Paris. I play gaming. I like to play video games or I play video games. Uh -huh. Candle is dangerous. Candles are dangerous for children. Yeah. I don't like the rain days. I don't like, I like rainy, rainy days. days. <laughs> also, other people like rainy days and mothers do not like, well, you see a cup of coffee, a rainy day, some music, <laughs> I think it will be fantastic. <laughs> Now, pimples. Uh, if you don't know about the, the vocabulary, look in the web, remember. Okay, Claudia, quite good. Okay, as quickly as possible. As quick I as don't as have pimples. I don't have pimples. Mm, I like cars. <laughs> I like cars. <laughs> and that's it. All right. First activity. Well, you did it. Now, what is my second activity? And I want to be sure that you are going to do it well. Now, vamos a aprovechar el tiempo y al mismo y a la misma vez vamos a asegurarnos que obtengan los mejores resultados en la plataforma, todos a la plataforma, por favor. Todos a la plataforma, vamos a irnos ejercicio por ejercicio y voy a ir chequeando que tengan el 100%, ¿ok? Si usted ya lo hizo y ya sabe que obtuvo el 100%, no importa, necesitamos que practicar también, ¿ok? Now, let me know when you get ready, please. Vamos a invertir tiempo en la plataforma, ¿ok? Recuérdense que hoy es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. No, hoy es viernes y hay que entregar <risa> las actividades de Adiós. la plataforma, ¿ok? Así vamos a cambiar la frase mejor. Hoy es viernes y tenemos que entregar las actividades de la plataforma. Y la vamos a cambiar mejor. Ok. Now, are you ready? Do you get there? ¿Ya tienen la plataforma? Yes. All right. yes, I am ready. Now, ahora, fíjense bien, por favor. Nos vamos a ir sacando, pues, yo sé que ya muchos de ustedes ya sacaron el 100%, pero hay algunos que todavía tienen el 60%. Yo necesito que 
como grupo lo hagan, que se ayuden entre ustedes. No es que yo les voy a dar las respuestas, no. En realidad las hemos estado observando, las hemos estado uh, desarrollando en clase. Pero es bueno hacer un repaso, ¿ok? Now, for example, everybody, please, everybody. I take a shower in the morning. I take a shower in the morning. Negative form? I don't take a shower in the morning. I don't take a shower in the morning. Uh, let me see. Jonathan? If you say Jonathan, instead of saying I, it would say Jonathan. Uh -huh. Instead Hello. of saying, uh, okay, instead of saying I, si le cambiamos I por el nombre Jonathan, ¿cómo iría la oración? Jonathan, Jonathan takes a shower. Jonathan takes a shower. Negative? Yes. Jonathan don't take a shower. Jonathan don't take? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't take. take. Okay, so doesn't take. Okay, so be careful. Okay, so the answer over here, I take a shower. Now, ya todos eligieron esa. I yes. take a shower. So be ready. Number two, my boss. My boss sends yeah. emails every day. Email. Now, if we change my boss for Daniel... Daniel sends email every day. Daniel sends, sends email, yeah. But if, if now if I if I want to make a negative statement, Daniel Dan don't doesn't send email every day. Now if we want to create a question, uh, does Daniel send mail every day? Okay, very good. So I hope you are just getting a ten on here. My co-workers have a meeting on Friday. My co-worker have a meeting on Friday. Number four, the secretary. Arrive late to work. Arrives. 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 Uh, arrives, arrives late to work. We never. Work. We never work on weekends. We never work on weekends. We never work. 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 Okay. Now, if I say work. send it, now I need to get a hundred percent, okay. right? Hundred <clears throat> percent. Okay. <clears throat> Asegúrense que tienen que tienen un buen puntaje. Okay. Now, number two activity number two. Number two, recuérdense que este día es día para terminar las actividades de la plataforma. Me voy un poquito más rápido porque hay muchas actividades que desarrollar. Porque lo vamos a ir completando. Véanlo completando los que todavía tienen alguna duda de tal manera que logren obtener un buen puntaje y que al mismo tiempo reafirmen lo que hemos venido estudiando. I take a shower. No, let me see. This is number one. Oh, no, this is number two, right? Yeah, number two. Yes. Yeah, number two. Yeah. Now, uh -huh, this is a time about time expressions, right? Okay, so, okay, uh, I take a shower. Every day. Every day. Every day, so this, this is the one, oh, I'm sorry. So every day is the answer, right? So let me see. Uh, my parents, or oh, my partner, sorry, have a party monthly. Monthly. My partners monthly. have a, every monthly, each month or monthly. Okay. Monthly. Monthly. Okay, let's see this one. My boss writes reports daily. 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 Uh, I have a meeting weekly. weekly. Quickly. Okay. And people at work go to conferences? Yearly. Yearly. One year, every year, yearly. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, now if you did it, that's all right. 
That was number two, people. That was number two. Take advantage of it. We have to finish five of this one. Necesitamos completar las cinco de esta semana. Number three. Now, remember about how much, how many? That's, those are the only the, the, the options that we have. Uh, parks are there in the in the city? How many? How many? How many? How many? Contable, right? How many? Now, uh, how now you saw this one, right? Team. Time? How, how much? much? How much? How much? Number three. Pollution. How much pollution is there in El Salvador? How much? Co-workers. How many? How many? How many? How many co-workers do you have? Money. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? And that's it, right? Well, what was the problem over here? How much? Let me see. How many parts? Pretty good. How much time? Pretty good. How much pollution? All right. Um, uh, over here, we have some problem, right? How, how many? many? Because we're talking about countable now, right? How many co-workers? Money? How many? How much? Uh, how, that much? Was how much, right? So, miren, me equivoqué, lo vuelvo a enviar y tengo el 100%, ¿ok? Si eso le sucede a ustedes, lo, lo pueden volver a hacer. Now, number, number four, ya casi terminamos. Ok, al nomás terminar los cinco ejercicios, me voy a ir a la parte donde yo tengo, donde tengo uh, los resultados y voy a ver si ya todos lo lograron terminar. Si no, pues este, por ahí voy a mencionar quienes no, quienes, quienes pues les falta completar. Porque aquí unas veces, pues, a lo mejor, pues, no le damos enviar y, pues, por ahí cometemos el error de, de hacer la actividad, pero no le damos enviar. Entonces, ahí no queda registrado nada. Now, multiple choice. Now, this is about what we were studying yesterday. Ahora sí, esto es de lo que estuvimos estudiando ayer. Miren. Now, now, do it by your own. Háganlo por ustedes mismos, ¿ok? Now, number one. Mario don't like working on, on Saturday. Okay. Mario don't like That's... working on Saturdays, okay? Doesn't. Okay. Mario doesn't. Doesn't That's... like working on Saturdays. Ah, okay. uh, it's not That's don't? Thing. It is not Mario Don't? It's not Don't. No, no. But, but why, why not Don't? ¿Por qué That's no thing. puede ir el Don't? Porque es tercera, eh, tercera persona singular. Ah, ok. So Mario doesn't like. Working. Ok. My friends. Well, do it by your own, please. My friend. My friend don't eat lunch together. My friend doesn't eat lunch together. My, my friend, friend don't. doesn't. My friends don't. 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 Eat lunch together. Okay. Remember it's that you don't. need to you need to notice about plural it's nouns, plural right? So if is. it is plural, plural noun. So there is there is no there is a person but plural. Okay. So number one, number two, or number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah. My friends don't. don't. Now, let me see. I think it can be, I can make it bigger. Okay. Julio and Peter. Don't write report. Don't write. Number one. Don't write report. Number two. Number three. Number, number three. three. Number three. Don't write report. Don't write. Number four. My sister. My sister doesn't have a car. Doesn't have a car. Does he have a car? Number five. My fire and I. My fire and I don't, don't play soccer don't play. on weekdays. Don't play soccer on, week, on weekdays. So do me the favor. Hágame el favor de terminar. Uh, let me see. My fire and I don't, right? Don't play soccer on weekdays. Soccer on weekdays. Yeah, and you see, we got the 20 points from 20 points. So do me the favor to do it by your own in the platform. Haganlo en la plataforma. 
al final voy a chequear que ya todos hayan terminado estos ejercicios. Solo nos queda uno, miren, solo nos queda uno. Recuérdense que estos ejercicios deberían de ser realizados justo después de la clase. Uh, number four and number five, right? Let me see. Ya. Yeah. No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Three, four, okay, no, I think one is missing. Yeah, so here. Number five. Okay, now this is about tonight's practice, right? So it's about simple present, general practice, right? Instruction, multiple choice, select the correct word. Okay, cook, cooks, cookies or cooks. My mother always cooks. Cooks. Uh, this cooks. one, right? Pretty good. Cooks. Okay, the second one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the second one. Are you sure? Look for the verb in third person. Look for the verb cook. cook in the third person. Cooks, three, three options. Ah, it's the third option. Okay, it's third the option. Third, third option. Cooks. All right. Cooks. My friend Irene. Doesn't, Doesn't drink chocolate. chocolate. Doesn't drink chocolate. Okay. How much do you want? Do you want? How much you want? Number four. I I like going out on Friday. First, second, or third? Second. I like second. going out on Fridays. Number five. My sister's friends. My Christian friends don't eat meat. Don't, don't eat meat. Don't. Don't eat meat. All right. So we're gonna send it. <coughs> yes. So we did it. Pretty good. Voy a dejar de compartir, okay? Le voy a dar que cinco minutos para que reafirmen lo que hay ahí en esos cinco minutos. Yo voy a dejar de compartir por el momento y voy a revisar, okay? En lo que ustedes logran terminar algo por ahí que tengan pendientes. Recuerden, son las primeras. Cinco actividades de la semana. Y ahorita reviso los puntajes y pues voy a ir mencionando eh, si hay alguien a, a, a quien le falta hay que completar alguna actividad, ¿ok? Okay, let me see. Okay, very good, people. Okay, uh, let me see. Jonathan, you're missing the activities. First activity, okay, Jonathan's missing. De ahí, la primera actividad, todos tienen, la mayoría tiene el 100%. Solo, solo. Queda pendiente, let me see. Ok, solo hay una persona pendiente. Quiero ver la otra página. Pretty good. Now, most of you already finished number one. Ok, necesito ver actividad dos completa. Ok, ya. Pretty good. Excellent. Eh, one question. ¿Les, les puedo hacer una, una pregunta? Eh, consideran que, que está bien si les presento resultados a modo que ustedes mismos vayan verificando o nada más siempre me lo guardo para mí ok, ya hay dos personas con la segunda actividad que ya la completaron ok, necesito que la mayoría lo termine para poder seguir con las otras actividades.
Ok, voy a mostrar, okay, voy a mostrar la, el libro de calificaciones, a ver cómo vamos, para por si hay alguien que ten, tiene duda, digamos. Eh, bueno, a ver en qué, si me hace falta algo, o, o no sé, lo voy a compartir. Ok, no. Acá está, miren, la primera actividad, la mayoría ya la terminó. Perfecto. La segunda, pues la, la mayoría no lo ha terminado. Necesitamos trabajar en eso. Necesito visualizar. Ok, tercera actividad, tampoco. Cuarta, tampoco. Y en la última, pues, ya hay algunos puntajes, pero necesitamos que ese puntaje sea, sea mejor. Ok. Teacher, eh... La, segun, bueno, la segunda, tercera y cuarta unidad son, eh, bueno, las tareas. Sí. Pero en mi plataforma me aparecen complicadas. Sí, me las mías también. Estoy verificando que mi nombre ahí dice que solamente es la primera tengo y en mi plataforma ya están todas hechas. Ah, y pues igual no está actualizado. Sí, igualito también yo. Sí, sí. Igual. También yo, T-shirt. Entonces, hay que actualizar porque... También yo ya la tengo todo, todo, todo terminado. Ok, perfecto. Ya ven por qué si es necesario hacer que, que, que les mueva. Bueno, entonces vamos a esperar porque a lo mejor pues todavía no, no han actualizado resultados en la plataforma. Ok, so, entonces vamos a aprovechar el tiempo haciendo las otras actividades. En todo lo que al final voy a chequear a ver si ya se logró actualizar la información. Ok. Okay, so now I have something over here. You know, well, I think I will give you the opportunity to you to present what you have brought to the class. Tengo otras actividades por acá, pero necesito darles el espacio a ustedes para que nos muestren también qué actividades traen. Okay, let's see. Uh, Aníbal, you will be the first. Voy a le voy a... Aníbal, are you there? So, remember to share the exercise that you completed. Ese ejercicio que ustedes se lo pueden revés y derecho, se nada más lo van a compartir, lo vamos a tratar de resolver entre todos. Yo lo voy a estar escuchando y si hay algo que aclarar, yo voy, voy a, a tratar de ayudarles también. So, first activity, Aníbal. La primera actividad sería, Ticha. Ya. Yeah. Simple present. La actividad que usted preparó para, para el grupo. After Aníbal se prepara Berenice. After Berenice, Daniel. After Daniel, Aidan. After Aidan, Belén. After Belén, Claudia. After Claudia, Edgar. After Edgar, Gladys. After Gladys, Jonathan. After Jonathan, María. After Maria, Maribel. After Maribel, Mario. After Mario, Michael. After Michael, Norma. After Norma, Oscar. Then Ronan. Then Teresa. And finally, we're going to have Vera Liz. Ustedes se fijan, hay, hay muchas actividades que compartir. Debemos optimizar el tiempo. Les digo el orden para que ya cuando los, los llame, Ustedes automáticamente nos comparten el documento, lo desarrollamos y nos movemos a otra, a la actividad que otro compañero trajo. All right. Okay. Si, si todavía no está preparado o algo falló, díganoslo para este, poder continuar, ¿ok?
uh, Aníbal, uh, any problem? Permítame, teacher, que se me perdió el documento. Ah, ok. <laughs> so, why don't we continue with next person? Mientras usted logra ubicar el documento, le damos el espacio a la siguiente persona, ¿está bien? Ok. Ok, so, Berenice. Yeah, I'm reading a small presentation that I've, uh, it's a little. Yeah, because uh, the sun, the sun gave it us light. My teacher says that it is a ball of fire. So, so I keep seeing work and keep with it. The sun rises early in the morning, even before, get about like the sun in days. And as I can pray outside with my friends, if there is not sun, it will be dark everywhere. So I like to sun very much. Fantastic. That was it, Veronica? Yes. I'm reading a little presentation. Okay, pretty good. Now, are you sharing the presentation now? <coughs> but no, no. Uh, not I'm now. reading my notebook, but I have my cell phone. Ah, uh, okay, very good. So you will share it later on. Hey, uh, well, that was an exercise for everybody. Fue un ejercicio para todos. Nos, nos expuso al inglés. A, a verificar si eh, efectivamente, si ustedes se fijaron, utilizó tercera persona, pronunció súper bien. Quiere decir que ella se preparó y nos expuso al inglés. Ok. Okay, thank you, Berenice. Let me see, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Bueno, mi presentación eh, no incluí muchas personas, casi solo información personal, pero dice así, Hi, people. It is a pleasure to study English with you. My name is Daniel. My co-worker say me, Danny. I were up at... 4.30 a.m., but I get up at 5 a.m. I take a shower every day and shave three times a week. I go to work at 6 a.m. I like arrive too early. I start to work at 8 a.m., sometimes before at 8 a.m. I check my emails daily. daily. I enter information for accounting system. I read and check document and make a file, file, fill. I have a lunch at noon. I drink coffee at 3 p.m. I finish my work, eight, work, work day at 6 p.m. and go to home. I study English from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I like English classes. I am more than happy to speak with us. My schedule is from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, I don't work. Sometimes I work Saturdays. Awesome, Daniel. Pretty good. De esa manera, Thank miren. You. De esa manera ustedes solitos váyanse evaluando. Pónganse, hey, hoy me saqué un 10, hoy me saqué un 8. Hoy me saqué... Ustedes solitos váyanse evaluando sus progresos, que eso también funciona. Thank you, Daniel. Mario, Thank eh, you. bless you, Mario. Sorry, Mario, bless you. Bless you se le dice a alguien cuando estornuda, ¿ok? Ah. No lo dije antes porque no quería interrumpir, pero cuando alguien estornuda, de cortesía se le dice bless you. Eso es como... Salud en español, ¿ok? So, Mario, is your opportunity? Si algo todavía no está, si no están listos, díganoslo para eh, proceder con el siguiente compañero. Eh, todavía no estoy listo. Ya. Ok, ok. Thank you, Mario. So, be ready. Prepárense porque siempre van a pasar al final, ¿ok? Well, let me see after Mario, who was the next? Pues de Mario, ¿quién seguía? Michael. Ok, Michael, thank you. Michael, are you there? Hello, Michael. Who 
well, Michael doesn't listen to us. After Marco, Michael, I said Norma, right? Hello, hello, Norma. I'm not ready. Uh, not ready yet? Okay, Norma's not ready. And after Norma, who did I say? Oscar? Okay, teacher. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Bueno, lo puedo enviar al grupo. Sí, ¿verdad? Yeah, sure, sure. Ok, ok, permítame. Ok, yo lo hice basado sobre todo en la rutina diaria. Ok, very good, Oscar, go ahead. Ok. Ok, uh, I get up around 5 a.m. Every morning I, I make some coffee. I spend the morning at home. I have some lunch at 12 o'clock. At 1 o'clock, I leave home and cage take my bus. I take the bus to center. We start work at 1 o'clock. I work every day. I finish work late after work. I usually go home and make dinner. I diner, read the book, and go to bed. Sometimes I go to have some drinks with my friends after work. On a weekend, I go to shop in the supermarket or visit my friends. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so do be the favor to grade your effort. Van chequeándose, van, van colocándose una nota uh, as a su desenvolvimiento, que eso también importa. Let me see, after Oscar, Ronan. I'm not ready. Not ready, Ronan. Eh, Teresa. Eh, es pequeñito, teacher. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Hello, people. My name is Teresa. I am three years old. I live in the depart of La Paz every day in drive 30 minutes to a two work that's near the coast. I love my heart and I had I long which everyone. That was it, Teresa? You finished. Yeah, fantastic. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for doing your best effort, Teresa. Thank you very much. Vera Liz. Un momento, por favor. Okay. Now, people who have participated, Quiero ver las manitas levantadas de los que no han participado. Ok, thank you. Aidan, Belén, Michael. Aidan, Belén, Michael. Ok, nos vamos a ir en ese orden. Eh, ok, Aidan, are you ready? Yes. Ok, now yes. So go ahead, Aidan. Okay. Quiero ver si puedo compartir. All right, thank you. So you have some info there, right? Es un relato. 
uh, Bob lives in a small flat in London. It's the morning, he wakes up and has a shower. Then he makes breakfast. He usually has a typical English breakfast with uh, egg and bacon. After that, he goes to work. He works is an office in the center of London. He sits in front of the computer and they and writes emails. He doesn't like his job very much, but they like earning money. At 12 o'clock, he goes to lunch and has a sandwich. After lunch, he comes back, come back to work and writes more emails. At five o'clock, he leaves work. He sometimes sees the girlfriends in the evening. She live, lives on the opposite side of London. So he, he takes the underground. On weekends, he doesn't have to work. He usually go, goes out for a few beers with the friends on Friday night. On Saturday, he goes shopping. On Sunday, he goes, goes to his grandmother's house for tea. On Monday, he yeah, gets up early, early and goes, goes back to work. Finish. Thank you, Aidan. Aidan, leave it there. Déjelo, déjelo por ahí. Por... Vamos. So, quiero, quiero enseñarles un, algo acerca del artículo da. Ok. Ok. La primera presentación. Desde, desde el inicio, veámoslo. Gracias. Now, pay attention, please. Uh, well, I can edit. Yeah, I can, I can do it. Now, I said, Bob leaves. Right? Quite good. In a small flat in London. In. Oigan bien pronunciación. Yo sé que eso lo van a ver luego, pero para que vayamos, nos vayamos acostumbrando. In the mornings, the, the mornings, he wakes up, wakes up, and has a shower. Then he makes breakfast. He usually has a typical English breakfast with eggs and bacon. After that, he goes. Okay, he goes to work. He works in an office in the in the center of London. He sits in front of the the computer all day and writes. Emails, he doesn't like his job very much, but he likes earning. Earning, uh, uh, Aidan, what's the meaning of this verb? What significa the verb, Aidan? Earn, this is the verb earn. What's the um, verb earn? Escuchar. No. Ganancia. Okay, ganar, ¿verdad? Ganarse el dinero. Here sí. es, es escuchar. Okay, here. Or listen to. Earn, ganar dinero, ganar un salario. Earn money, ganar dinero. At 12 o'clock, he goes to lunch and has a sandwich. After lunch, he comes back to work and writes more emails at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, he leaves work. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next one, please. Aidan, vámonos a la otra parte, por favor. Oh, okay. Si se fijaron, en todos los artículos, da, siempre sonaba da, da. da. Pero acá, miren, he sometimes sees his girlfriend in the, the evenings. The, ya no es da, miren. It's the evenings. She lives... On the opposite, the, the opposite side of London. So he takes the, of the underground, the underground. 
On weekends, he doesn't have to cook. He usually goes out for a few beers with his friends on Friday night. On Saturday, he goes shopping. And on Sunday, he goes, goes to his grandmother's house for tea. On Monday, he gets up early and goes back to court. Now, this, this is what it calls my attention, okay? Sé que luego lo van a ver, pero es bueno que se vayan acostumbrando desde ya. D, cuando va a sonar D, es cuando tenemos una vocal enfrente. Si no tenemos una vocal enfrente, va a sonar DA. Si es una consonante, DA. Ok. So that's it. The, the evenings, the car, the car, the house, etc. Ok, so thank you very much for doing your best, uh, Aidan. Thank you, Aidan. Eh, una consulta. Tell me. Eh, con relación a esta palabra, eh, beers. Porque The también beers. Hay, eh, pasa que oso, igual manera, eh, el parecido en la pronunciación como cerveza también. Yeah, that's right. Pero, beers, 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 beers. And, you know, pronunciation is a, a slightly different, un poquito diferente. <laughs> Miren, es, esto lo van a aprender poco a poco. Beers, beers. Pero hay otra cosa más importante que... Porque estas palabras se, se confunden. Oh, sorry, birds. Ah, bueno, ahí está beard también, sin querer la escribí. Eh, birds. Ok, mire, es beard, es barba, birds, and beers. So, las tres suenan parecido, miren. Pero hay otra cosa que también nos dice de qué estamos hablando y es el contexto. Ok, por ejemplo, está alguien en un salón de belleza, no le va a decir... Eh, are you going to cut your, your beers? ¿Te va a cortar los osos? No, ¿verdad? Are you going to cut your beers? ¿Te va a cortar la cerveza? No. Are you going to cut your beard? Ok, ahora sí. Depende del contexto. Ok. okay. Pretty good. Good question okay. there. Good okay. question. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, thank you. So, let's continue. Who's, then, who's missing? I have uh, Aidan Belen. It's, it's it's going to continue, right? Thank you, Aidan. Belen is still missing, right? Eh, teacher. Adiós, teacher. Per perdone que le interrumpa. Eh, cuando menciona da, da o de, di, el T, T, H, I. Sí, suena eh, como. En su, eh, cuando hay consonante, dice. Cuando hay vocal. En... Cuando hay vocal enfrente, suena di. Si se la, la, la naranja, como dice en inglés, la naranja. The orange. The orange. Ah, the the orange. orange. Si usted the dice orange. El, el águila, en inglés, ¿cómo dice, cómo dice el águila? The, the eagle. The, the, eagle. the eagle. Si usted dice uh, el cuaderno. The notebook. The notebook. Okay, da. Entonces ahí están las dos pronunciaciones. D, da. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Put it into practice, okay? Los, los otros maestros que tengan lo van a notar. Se van, se van a dar cuenta que ellos lo van a notar. Wow, este grupo viene con detallitos muy, muy bien afinados. Eh, Belén, go ahead, please. Okay. Eh, short air pets. Uh, my dog. The name is the name of my dog is cat. He's black in color. He's four years old. Uh, he keeps cat away from my house. If he sees a cat, he runs after it. He barks when he sees a stranger in the house. Uh, he never bites and um, here is everything my mother gives him. But he likes to eat meat. Whenever I come back from school, he was his taste. After I finished my homework, Jack and I went together. Sometimes he also jumps and runs after me. I love my dog. My dog also loves my, me very much. <laughs> you love your dog. Your dog loves you. Okay, that's pure love. Thank you, Belen. That was quite fantastic. Excellent job. Now, who's missing? Who else is missing? 
Who else is missing? Who else is missing? Okay, Belen is done. Anibal, I think, is missing, right? Anibal, are you ready now? Okay, teacher. Very uh, good. Conversation and, uh, and with Renata, Gina, and Nick. Okay, so go in. Let us know about transition and the conversation. Uh, Renata, good morning, everyone. I'm Renata, and, and I'm from Brazil. Where do you come from? Gina, hello. I am Gina, and I, I, I live in Colombia. I usually come, come here to Texas every summer. Nick, hey, I'm Nick, and I'm American. Welcome, welcome to the summer camp. I'm the general consular. Let me tell. Uh, you that we generally start the day with a uh, music activity. Renata, I like I like that because I sing and play the drums. Nick, do you have a band? Uh, Renata. Yes, I have a music band in Sao Paulo. I suppose that children here also, also play instrument. Uh, Nick, yeah, some, some of them do. Do you play any instrument? Gina? Gina? No, I only dance. Uh, Nick, perfect. So we can play music and dance uh, with the campers. Let's move on, on the on to the afternoon. Uh, we usually practice some sport like tennis, soccer, and baseball. Uh, Renata, great. In my country, we love soccer. Gina, in Colombia, we seldom play baseball, but we play soccer too. Nick, awesome. Children usually choose soccer. Nowadays, soccer is quick. Uh, pop popular here is the stay and in the evenings camper wheel and campfires and tell sky stories with the outdoor activities uh, start, do you like those stories uh, Gina yes I do Renata no I don't I hate darkness and ghost stories Nick don't worry he, in that case we also have a a karaoke contest. Renata, sure, I will go for that. Nick, oh, I, I promise you, we'll have a lot of fun this summer. Uh, finish. Great transition, Anibal. <laughs> that was quite good. Okay, now let's see. Who's missing, people? Quien falta que participe? Recuérdense que ese día es muy especial porque es práctica. Todos deberíamos... Ok, Michael, go ahead. Michael, Michael. And Veralis is also missing. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, I speak with my daily routine. Uh, my daily routine starts when I arrive to my job every morning, I greet with my co-worker after that. We always talk about, about work every day. At 7 a.m., we share the work. Also, we drink coffee at 7 a.m. We are just, just to co-workers. Uh, after giving the work, we proceeded to do it. Uh, we usually drink coffee at 3 p.m. and also we and the daily time routine finished. Great, Michael. Great. Great presentation about daily routine. Congrats. Yeah. Okay. Now I think Beralis wanted to say something. Ahorita. Okay. 
Simple present. Sophie's daily routine. Sophie is 11 years old and she lives in Brighton, England. She usually gets up at a quarter to eight. She has a shower, gets dressed, and then she brushes her teeth. After that, she goes down start and has breakfast. For break for, for breakfast, she usually has meal, toast, and orange juice. Then she brushes her teeth again because she likes them, them white and healthy. Then she grows her school bag and goes to the bus stop to cut to school bus. Classes start at half past eight and finish at half past four. She usually has lunch at the school canteen with her schoolmates at about 11 o'clock. Her best friend is Amy and Sophia. I always say next to her at lunch. After school, she returns home and does her homework. She is a very hard working. And misses a school task. After homework, she usually listens to music and watches television at beat, a bit at half past at, at half past seven, it is time for dinner. Then she usually reads a book or chats with her parents for a while. Finally, she goes to bed at about 10 o'clock, but before that she brushes her teeth. Sophia is a, is a happy little girl. Examples, and she lives in Brinkton. She has a shower, gets dressed. She brushes her teeth because she likes them white and healthy. She goes downstairs and has breakfast. She usually has milk, toast, and orange juice in her breakfast. She grabs her school and back and goes to the bus to catch the school bus. And vocabulary, don't start, planta baja, grab, or grace, agarrar, catch, atrapar, canteen, and cantina. Thank you. Hey, thank you. That was quite yeah. good. You also include some vocabulary, right? So that was fantastic. Uh, thank you, Veralis. Hope that you have enjoyed doing this activity. Okay, is there anybody else missing? Falta alguien? Is there anybody else missing? Gladys, are you done? Yeah, Cl okay, Gladys, uh, well, Gladys and after Gladys, Claudia, okay. Okay, I read all your story. Yeah, we can see it. The skin of a crocodile. Okay. The skin of the crocodile. African legend tells that before my inevitable the ear. The cockatoo had a soft, smooth, and golden skin that shone in the rays of the sun and at the light of the moon. The cockatoo spent all day submerged in the mud, muddy, 
requires protecting its skin from the sun and only come out at night. The other swamp animals began to notice the, the beautiful, the beautiful of the crocodile's skin and come in droves to admire it. The crocodile was very proud of the of his skin and began to go out during the days to the delight in the admiration of the other animals. Every day he spent more and more time out of the mouth, mouth was exposing his skin to the scorching rise of the Africa sun. I'm very beautiful, don't you think? He asked his admirer. Of course, they are responsible, does it? Some the animals got tired of the cockroaches move attitude and stop at visit visiting him the cockerel hoping the regain lost attention spent a day every day in the sun his skin turned gray lumping and scaly and the cockerel never got over its embarrassment and even today will disappear from view in the presence of other living only its eyes and nostril of the surface of the water. Finish. Okay, Gladys, quite good. Now, listen, Gladys, your pronunciation was really nice. Okay, leave it there. But let us analyze. Okay, let us analyze. Uh, well, do me a favor. Ah, don't you think uh, we have just few few sentences in simple present, right? Most of the information here is in past, but well, actually, your transition was quite good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gladys. Okay, now we have Claudia. Hello. My name is Claudia Torres. I am with us every day at 4 a.m. I take the bus to work, to work at 5 a.m. I arrive at work in Usulutan at the age a.m. I have 15 co workers. Activity in the world. May financial, financial reports, review reports, by accounting documents, as well emails, review budget, attend meeting. Example center in present uh, in the present simply. We attend school every Sunday. The kids play in the parks after the school. He studied for this exam every night. I practice English in races. They eat lunch together every day. A present simple affirmative. We drink, we drink too much coffee. Negative. We do not drink too much coffee. Interrogative. Do, do we drink too much coffee? Example, verse uh, simple. Fix, uh, play, war, wise, walls, sleep. Finish. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Thanks for doing your best effort over here. Now I think everybody uh, participated already, right? Did everybody participate or we're still missing someone? Oh right here. <clears throat> well, well, uh, presentation were good. The presentation were good, and I hope that you continue doing your best over here, right? So, a uh, I have an activity, okay. 
and uh, I will share it with you. Now, I want you to be ready because over here, we're gonna, you know, we have like uh, 32 sentences, so it will be a little bit long. The uh, the listening is going to be about hobbies. Interests and hobbies. Interesting hobbies, right? So, but over here, we're gonna do something, okay? So, we are gonna change the story, right? So everything is gonna be uh, done in by using negative statements. So if it appears in the negative, in, in positive statement, then you are gonna change it into the positive. If it, if the sentence appears in the positive, you're gonna write it down in negative. Yo voy a ir, eh, vamos a ir viendo las oraciones y las vamos a ir escuchando. Hey, espérame, quiero ver. Yeah. Do you listen to it? It is very rewarding to have different interests and hobbies. Do you listen? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so what are we going to do? Vamos a ir escuchando la oración, la vamos a ir uh, observando si, si, si es positivo, si es negativo, y la vamos a cambiar. Si la oración está en positiva, usted la va a escribir en negativo. Si la oración está en negativa, usted la va a escribir en positivo. Okay. okay. Example. 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 Interests and hobbies. Interests and hobbies is the topic. Este es el tema. Interest and hobbies. Now, the first sentence. It is very rewarding to have different interests and hobbies. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what type of sentence do we have here? Es positivo, es negativo. ¿Cómo, cómo está esta oración? Positive. 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 So Positive. the only thing that you will do is to include is is sent. So ustedes la van a ir cambiando a la historia. Lo van a ir poniendo todo al revés. It is, it is a very rewarding to have different interests and in hobbies. Okay. Se van a ir cambiando. Now. Si la oración está en negativa, usted lo va a escribir en positivo. All right. Al final voy a elegir tres personas que nos muestren su trabajo y que nos lo lean. ¿Cómo quedó? Porque aquí dice, it's very rewarding to have different interests in, in hobbies. Entonces en, en su trabajo tendría que decir, it is not very rewarding to have different interests in hobbies. Ok. So, and also take a look at the, uh, at the vocabulary. Si yo les pregunto, hey, what does rewarding mean? What's the meaning of the word rewarding? Grabar. No, no, no. Reward. Rewarding, gratificante. Okay, oh. <laughs> very good. So, oh. remember that we have the challenge, right? Cada palabra nueva. Si es que nos metemos en nuestro banco acá y nos vamos a hacer ricos en vocabulario. It is very rewarding to have different interests and hobbies. Now, do you finish? It is very rewarding to have a different interest and hobbies. Now, It will be really nice si no logramos terminarlo todo porque pues veo que son varias. Estaría súper, súper genial si hiciéramos las tres opciones, ¿verdad? Si, por ejemplo, si aquí aparece positivo. Lo hacemos negativo. Miren, si usted tiene... Ah, les voy a compartir el enlace. Para que no vayan digitando tanto. Ok, there you are the link. Ahí tienen el link en el, en el chat. Ok, por si alguien pues lo quiere ir nada más, ir copiando acá. Ok, porque si no, pues no, no vamos a tomar ventaja del tiempo. 
Sería cuando lo tengan acá. Interest so you, and hobbies. Yeah. It's very rewarding to have different. So you, you, you copy and then you paste. Lo copian y lo pegan. Entonces acá nada más le van cambiando. Miren. Isn't. It is a very rewarding to have different interests and hobbies. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y si hacemos la pregunta, que sería más que excelente, que si no lo, si no lo hacen así ahora, pues que, que les quede tarea. Yes, so, the question will be like this. So you have the three, we have the three of them, right? So ahí tenemos las tres oraciones, miren, positivo, negativo y pregunta. Así vamos, vamos haciendo práctica de, de, de las tres maneras, ¿ok? Si, pues, por el momento, pues, lo que yo estoy solicitando que lo vayan cambiando a negativo. Ya luego, las preguntas sí les quedaría como tarea, porque si no, no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Okay, number two. Is it clear, people? Okay, number two. Number two. Me lo, lo tienen que ir diciendo también. O sea, eso es un, un ejercicio muy complejo. Some people like to play computer games. Okay. Positive, negative, or interrogative. Some people, some not Don't like. people like to play some computer. People like to play computer games. Negativo. Yeah, some negative. Not people. Some not people. Some people. Yeah. Some people. Some people don't like to play. Okay. Computer. Some people don't like to play computer games. Question. It some people. Uh -uh. Remember that since, since we're talking about simple, what is this, people? Simple present or no? Simple Just a present. no. Simple no. present, right? It is simple, simple. present. Yeah, it's, it's, is it simple present, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Where is the yeah. subject? This is the subject, right? Mm. What is this one? Third. It's a bird. What is this yeah. one? A eso se le, le vamos a llamar infinitivo. Cuando tengamos una forma de un verbo con el tú, le vamos a llamar infinitivo. And after that, what do we have? To play. Computer Computer. Complement. That's a complement. Perfect. So that's exactly what we have been studying, right? Justo lo que hemos estado estudiando. Entonces, si yo quiero hacerlo en negativo, uh, per, perdón, en negativo, son people like. Negative, son people. Don't like. don't like. Some people don't like. Okay. To play computer games. Now, question. Uh, do. Computer games. Do some people like. Do some people like to play computer games? Okay, and then you have the three of them. Ahí tienen las tres opciones ya. Okay, is it difficult? Está un poco difícil? Yes. It is interesting. <laughs> it, it is interesting. interesting. Okay, pero miren cuántas, si no logramos, quiero ver. Vamos a trabajar en esto hasta, ya solo vamos a trabajar que unos siete minutos más en esto. Tal vez lleguemos como a unas diez o no sé. Pero si no, no lo terminamos, le va a quedar de tarea. Ok. Number three. Other people spend a lot of time watching television. There are people who would rather uh, watch movies. Give me a second, please. That was number... Number three. Number three, right? Yeah. Other people spend a lot of time watching television. Ok. Other people spend... Other people spend a lot of time watching television. Uh -huh. 
negative other people don't spend a lot of time watching television question do other people spend a lot of time watching television do other people spend a lot of time watching television good so type it or write it down Vayanlo completando en su documento Word, que también voy a solicitar algunos que nos muestren el documento como lo están llevando. Number four. There are people who would rather watch movies. Okay, now listen carefully. In this one. There are people who would rather watch Now, hay una expresión que se va a ver hasta más adelante. La van a ver ustedes. Would rather. Okay, eso, con esa expresión. Solo les voy a decir cómo es, pero no la vamos a, a resolver como tal. Would rather not. Ok. Esta se hace así. Ok. Sé que no nos corresponde ahorita esta gramática. No nos corresponde. Pero este, en su momento la van a ver. Ok. Así que esta es la número cuatro. Uh -uh. Number five. Some people prefer more physical things. Ajá. Uh -huh. Negative statement. Some people prefer. Yeah, that's, prefer. some people prefer more physical things. Negative. Some people some don't people don't prefer more physical, more physical things. Don't. Some, things. some people things. don't prefer more physical things. Good question. Some people prefer more physical things. Good. Excellent. Number six. They would rather play a sport. No, would, would rather. No, I said they would rather. No la hagan, por favor. Like baseball, hockey, or basketball. Okay. Now we will say like. They would they, rather right? play a They would rather uh, play a sport. Like baseball. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change this one. They <clears throat> like baseball, hockey, or basketball. Negative. They doesn't like. They doesn't. Or they don't. They don't. <coughs> they, don't. They, don't. they don't. They don't. They don't. Like baseball, hockey, or basketball. And the question. <clears throat> Do they? Do they like baseball? Quite good. Do they like? All right. Number eight. Let's see what we have number. Eight. Some people do exercises at a gym or they just go for Uh-huh. This is quite important because we have two in here. So it is going to be very useful to clarify some doubts. Okay, how do you say this one in negative form? Don't. Yeah, some people they don't. Yeah, don't. Okay, the verb over here is do exercise, right? You can say exercise also, but you can say also do exercise. Do exercise. But, and actually it says do exercises, right? So it's plural. So this means that this is not a verb. Este no sería el verbo. Okay, so we have subject. Después del subject, ¿qué tenemos? El verbo, ese sería el verbo. This is the verb. Auxiliar. No, no. Over here we don't have any auxiliary. This is the verb. Do, do, do exercises, right? At a gym, or they just go for walks. Now, 
No, since we are already identified the verb, si ya que vimos el verbo y ya vimos que esto no es auxiliar, ¿cómo sería la oración entonces? Some people not do. No. Some people not do or some people don't. Uh, don't. Do. Okay. Don't do exercises. Some people don't do exercise. Okay. What what you what you need to identify is that do as an auxiliary is used for uh, uh for negative statements and also for questions, right? So it's a question. Do some people do exercises at, at a gym? Do some people do some people do exercises? So you will have like two times. If you if we create the question, we will say like do 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 people do some people do exercises at a gym or or they just go for walks okay so this is the auxiliary and this is the verb okay so if we say if we say for example third person singular imaginémonos que no fuera people que fuera uh que fuera una persona Joseph, ¿cómo tendría que ir el verbo? Das, das, das exercises. Das exercises at a gym or he just go or he just goes walks. for walks. Okay. Así sería en tercera persona. Si, si dijéramos en pregunta, does Joseph do exercises at a gym or he goes for walks? And uh, it, it may be like that. Does Joseph do exercises at a gym or he, he goes for walks? Something like that, okay? So this is in the number eight. Just for you to be clear about the, the verb do and the auxiliary do. Okay, so number nine. So we're gonna work in the last one. Vamos con there are many última. ways to exercise. They can ride a bicycle or lift weights. Okay, weight. they can ride a bicycle or lift there weights. Are, some people do exercises, there are many this is this is a not this is a a modal verb. Le vamos a llamar a modal verb. Can se puede decir can't así sería el negativo. También se puede escribir así can not cannot yeah can can not or you can write it down together. No se preocupen que no, no lo vamos a ver a detalle, solo les estoy aclarando. Eso lo van a ver en, en próximas clases. Hey, they can't ride a bicycle or live away. They can't okay, ride a bicycle or live away. Now here, you may be, they can't ride bicycles. Lo partimos, they uh, oh no, it may be like that, right? So así quedaría, or lift weights. They cannot ride a bicycle or lift weights. Just like that. So this sería la forma negativa de esto. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. And now I think it's, it would be all right. So we got 10, right? So las demás les queda de tarea. So do you have any question? Now we will continue working. Any, no question? No question. Uh, le va no. a quedar, miren, los que, los que son curiosos y, y se fijaron en la estructura que yo les dije que todavía no vamos a ver. Los que, los que son curiosos pueden investigar por sí solos para cuando lleguen a esa clase. Wow, ya sé, ya no tengan problemas con WebRadar. 
Web Brother, qué significa, cómo se ocupa, algunos ejemplos, etc. Recuérdense que nosotros acá, en ese programa, nos interesa que ustedes avancen mucho, que aprovechemos el tiempo y que avancen lo más que puedan, porque el tiempo es oro. Ok, por eso es que nosotros como, como que nos gusta, a mí siempre me ha gustado como despertar el interés a que mis estudiantes vayan más allá de lo que vemos en la clase. Now, listen to me, listen to me, because, well, this is, we, we, you are going to be in church of working with 22 sentences more, right? Van, van a trabajar en 22 oraciones más por ahí. Okay, now, what are we going to do now? What, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Let me see. Well, we'll stop this. Um, the activities in the, well, I don't think we're going to have enough time to work in the PDF, but you know, the PDF, it, it's a, another um, document that we have to be working with. But just just to go to the end of, the, of this uh, class, we have been practicing a lot, a lot, and that's wonderful. Wonderful. Now, what do we have here? Do you remember about this? ¿Se acuerdan de esta presentación? Yes. Okay, so we're going to work with it. What are we going to what are we going to do? Okay, so I will mention your name. Voy a mencionar su nombre. Y cuando mencione su nombre y ve la imagen, esa imagen le corresponde trabajarla a usted. Por ejemplo, si yo digo music. Music. Y yo menciono, let me see who's the first person over here. Let's say Aníbal. Ok, Aníbal. Entonces Aníbal se va a poner a trabajar o a buscar una historia relacionada a música en donde aparezca el presente simple. ¿Ok? Ok. That's for okay. Aníbal. That's for Aníbal. Ok, ese okay. es el trabajo que él tiene ahorita. Puede usar la web o puede inventar una historia eh, acerca que, que lleve el título o, o que sea la temática de música. Ok, Daniel. Fútbol. Daniel. Ok. Ok, go for it. Go for it. Vamos a investigar ahorita. Pronunciación, gramática, etcétera. A modo que... Ojalá que logremos terminarlo antes de cerrar la sesión. Ok. Edgar. Mobile fonts. Go and look for some info about it. Ok. Aidan. Alcohol. No, but this topic, no, vamos a obviar este tema. No. Dentist. Dentist. Yeah, okay. that's better, Aidan. Okay? It's Friday, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> okay. So, Aidan, let me see who's missing. Ah, Belen. A reading. That's for you, Belen. Okay. okay. Then we have, go and investigate now. Eh, Berenice, milk. That's, okay. for that's for Berenice. Recuerden, se tiene que llevar presente simple, ¿ok? Berenice. Then we have eh, Claudia, weapons. ¿Ok, Claudia? Ok, teacher. Then we have Edgardo. About, ah, esta está chido. Pretty good, Edgar. Edgar, homework. After homework, Gladys, parties. Okay. After, after parties, parties, we have Jonathan. Gaming. 
Video games, Jonathan. Maria, candles. Maribel, a rainy days. That's for Maribel, right? Mario, pinballs. Michael, cards. Ronan, we're gonna start with Ronan. Music, Ronan. Okay. Okay, Teresa, football. And Vera Liz, mobile phones. Okay, so let's work on it. Veamos qué podemos obtener en 10 minutos acerca de esos temas. Presente sí. Now you have 10 minutes, people. Okay, Norma, you're going to talk about reading, Norma. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't mention you. Oscar, talk about parties, please. Many people go to stadium. Many people go to stadium. Five minutes more, then we will see what you got.
Okay, do me the favor to activate your camera, people. Remember, it's important. Thank you, Anibal. Activate camera. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, Belen is ready. Very good, Belen. Very good. Berenice is ready, all right. So we have two participants that are ready. Uh, I hope you, you, you got pretty interesting info. Well, we're going to start with the people who are ready, okay? So I have two people who are ready and we're gonna listen to them. Okay, Berenice, no, that was not Berenice, right? That was... Belen? And who, who was the other lady? And Veralis, right? Oh yeah, no, it was Berenice, right? Belen and Berenice. Well, we're gonna start with, with Belen. Okay, chair um, what, my, What's the topic, uh, Belen? Reading. Reading. Uh, reading, okay. Reading, okay. Uh, reading is a habit that uh, can improve uh, the social and human condition of any reader. Reading allows you the you to think with profession and level, develop the cognitive aspect of the brain. In my case, I like to read mystery books and romantic novels, but I prefer uh, self improvement. I don't like to read manga. Fantastic. Now, new vocabulary? Um, yes, improve. Improve. What is the meaning of the word improve? And type it in the chat, please, so that everybody can see that verb. Improve. Improve. Mejorar. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Now, type it in the chat, please. Okay, we will continue with Veronica. Okay, Veronica, it's your turn. Yeah, my topic is milk. Yeah, the milk has vitamins and minerals that it contribute to grow up and it's treating our system. Uh, for example, my son drinks a cup of milk every day in the morning. And the vocabulary that is strengthen, that is fortalecer. Excellent, strengthen, right? Great job. So you got a new a new word there. All right. So we are gaining something here, right? Estamos ganando algo acá. Vocabulario, pronunciación. Estamos expandiendo un poquito con presente simple. Now, anybody else? Alguien más está listo? Well, meanwhile you finish, mientras terminan de, 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 de completar la actividad, voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? No quiero que se me escape ese detalle. Eran. Uh, 
Present. Ok, Belén. Sorry, ok. Claudia. I'm checking the list of things. Estoy revisando, estoy uh, pasando lista, ok. Claudia. Ok. Daniel. Present, teacher. Dina Maribel. I didn't see Dina tonight. Dina, is Dina here? Well. Um, Edgar? Yeah. Okay. Gladys? Present teacher. Good. Jonathan? Hello, I'm listening. Okay, okay. Okay, Maria Elba. Presentation. Okay, Mary. Uh, Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Excellent, Mario. Marta Berenice. Yeah, I am here. Good. Michael. Here, teacher. Right, Noe Aníbal. Present teacher. Great. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar Antonio. Ronan. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Oscar Present teacher. Uh, okay. Teresa. Present teacher. Great. Ever Alice. Present teacher. Fantastic. Very good. So we're almost done. We're almost done with the with with tonight's uh, activities. And uh, let me see. Now, is there anybody else who wants to participate? Alguien más quiere compartir lo que han investigado? Lo que aprendieron en estos pocos minutos. Ok, so, if, you, if you're not uh, ready with it, ok, try to finish it. And now, uh, let's see, I, I will ask somebody to share the document that you are working with. Quiero, que, quiero un voluntario que, que nos ayude a compartir el documento Word. Queremos ver cómo, cómo, este, cómo están avanzando en ese documento. ¿Qué es lo que están plasmando en el documento Word? Alguien del grupo, solo uno, ¿ok? ¿Quién, ¿A quién le gustaría compartir? El documento Word. Let me see. Well, I wish you somebody. Uh, Daniel, tell me one number from one to... To seventeen. Hi. Hi. Tell me one number from one to seventeen. Okay. Fútbol, lo de la tarea del fútbol, de las actividades de... de, de... No, re remember, recuérdense que todas las noches, este, pues, dejamos plasmados en un documento Word algo que, que nosotros, pues, queramos, pues, como dejar constancia de que hemos aprendido en cada noche. Entonces, okay, okay. necesito ver, porque alguien nos comparta cómo lleve ese documento. Bueno, voy a compartir pantalla... Ok, Daniel. El documento de Word. Ok, Daniel.
logran ver la pantalla. El archivo. Yes, that's Pero right. lo último, lo último que escribí es lo de la actividad que nos asignó que hablar acerca del fútbol. Okay. Y yo iba escribiendo. Y las anotaciones anteriores es de lo que vimos en la clase, que íbamos viendo cada, cada oración en simple present y teníamos que ponerla en negative. Okay. Entonces empecé a escribir algunas. Y también el documento de Word, ahí anoto algunas palabras o frases que no sé exactamente qué son, pero que tengo que repasar y estudiar. Lo que hablaban hoy, que la palabra beers a veces se confunde con cerveza, barba o osos, para a, tener presente, diferenciar ahí la, por la pronunciación o, o, el, o el ambiente en que uno está, así va a ser el significado. Y así voy anotando parte de las actividades que, que vamos haciendo, palabras nuevas. Eso es lo que llevo en el archivo de, de, de Excel. Alright. Excellent, eh, Daniel. That's fantastic. So, this, this is only an example about what, what you have to do, right? Every single night that you get into the class, then you take some notes about what about something that you know that you that you have to study, that, that you have to have some review about, or that you have to like to, to get some information. Okay. So this is like like uh, um, a document in which uh, it can be useful because you can have some review whenever you whenever you see the information there. Excellent, Daniel. Justo, okay. justo es lo que yo necesito que vayan tomando apuntes de lo que se va haciendo en clase. Now, thank you, Daniel. Okay. So I think this. Um, Quiero ver. I think this session has been uh, very rewarding. Now, what's the meaning of the word reward? Rewarding. Yeah, that's right. So that's that's the way it is, right? <laughs> okay, so that was it, right? So uh, I, I I hope this class was rewarding because actually you were the ones who, who created a lot of information, right? Algo que deben de mantener en mente es que cuando ustedes crean algo es más rewarding que cuando el teacher solo las presenta, okay? Es más rewarding cuando ustedes hacen, cuando ustedes crean. Es más significativo porque ustedes crean algo. Y cuando nosotros creamos algo, aprendemos mejor. Ok, esa es la intención. All right. Siempre manténganlo en mente porque si se hacen creadores de contenido en inglés, sea poco, sea más o menos, o sea mucha información, todo vale. Okay. Todo es significativo, siempre y cuando ustedes lo hagan, ¿verdad? ustedes lo investiguen, ustedes lo escuchen, uh, ustedes lo reproduzcan, ustedes pues eh, hagan, hagan, creen. Eso es mucho mejor que, que, el, que, es, que el teacher nada más, pues hay diferentes ejercicios. Si ustedes se fijan, inicié con, con unas imágenes, luego ejercicios de la plataforma, luego un ejercicio de un enlace por ahí, luego eh, ustedes empezaron compartiendo qué es lo que habían aprendido, eh, etcétera. O sea, de esa manera es como vamos a ir mejorando. ¿Ok? Mientras más practiquemos, más vamos a avanzar. ¿Ok? Van para su fin de semana, espero que se lo pasen súper bien. Pero este, por ahí tienen nada más dos homework, ¿ok? Nada más dos. Eh, no sé si quiero ver. Ya la otra semana tienen el midterm. Van preparándose con eso, que ¿okay? Ya para el día viernes ya el midterm tiene que estar terminado. Las actividades, por favor, eh, vayan completando las eh, en cada noche, a modo que no se les vayan acumulando y al final pues les toque que correr 
para completar los ejercicios. No se trata de correr, se trata de aprender, ¿ok? De nada, de nada nos va a aprovechar completar si no aprendemos, ¿ok? Es mejor completar las actividades, pero aprender. Y si, y si nosotros las completamos a la ligera, no nos va a funcionar el asunto. Michael. Eh, sí, este, podría co compartir los documentos donde se va a trabajar ahí por, por, por WhatsApp. ¿El, ¿El PDF, Michael? El de las 30, ah, el del audio de las 30. De las sí, 30. Sí. Lo compartí en el chat, quiero ver, ya, aquí está. Que como me salí, entonces cuando volví a ingresar ya no, ya no estaba. De acuerdo, uh -huh. lo vuelvo a compartir acá. Al WhatsApp, teacher, please. WhatsApp. Vamos al WhatsApp, quiero ver si lo activé esta noche. Permitan. WhatsApp, WhatsApp. No lo tengo activo. Ok, no se preocupen que se los voy a compartir. Lo voy a activar ahorita. Eh, no sé si hay preguntas. Profe, este, así como yo voy trabajando en el cuaderno, ¿cómo podría pasar, pasárselo ahí? Mm, pues puede tomarle fotos, puede tomarle fotos y pues luego crear un, un, docu un PDF o crear un documento, ¿verdad? Y este, pues ya nada más presentar lo que ha hecho en su cuaderno. Bueno, okay. esa sería una opción. Uh -huh. eh, teacher, este. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, pues usted nos ha dado varios enlaces que son bien, son bien, son excelentes, por decirlo, ¿verdad? Que, sí, sí. Y, y tiene de todo: tiene listening, tiene reading, sí. tiene writing. O sea, que tenemos un, un montón de donde. De, de dónde podemos aprender, ¿verdad? No solo quedarnos como que es con lo que usted nos da, ¿verdad? Así yo es. lo que yo lo que he hecho es que eh, igual que Daniel que que voy haciendo mi documento en Word. Yo como ahorita estoy en mi trabajo, no estoy no estoy en la compu, ¿verdad? Pero al mañana que esté en la casa lo paso a la compu y voy haciendo mis anotaciones en el cuaderno también, ¿verdad? Así voy haciendo también y e igual eh, me voy asesorando por voy a, voy a me metiendo en varias páginas y, y sacando de, de lo más interesante, lo que nos puede ayudar bastante, ¿verdad? Ok, Gracias. ok. Ah, algo, algo que también es, funciona mucho es que, vale, por ejemplo, yo hoy noté en el grupo algo muy bonito, miren. En las actividades, cuando ustedes presentaron la información, yo me he dado cuenta que ustedes están investigando pronunciación. Si ustedes se fijan, están avanzando muy rápido en pronunciación, ¿verdad? Eso está muy bien. Vocabulario, pronunciación, eso está súper, ¿okay? ¿ok? Pero al mismo tiempo, ustedes váyanse evaluando, ¿verdad? Si usted dice, bueno, yo estoy mejorando en pronunciación, estoy, hablando en, estoy mejorando en speaking, speaking. ¿Qué pasa con mi lectura? ¿Cuánto tengo de nota en mi lectura? Estoy entendiendo lo que leo, hago ejercicios con lectura, entonces, ahí ustedes se van valorando también esa parte. El listening, ¿cómo vamos con el listening? Me cuesta demasiado cuando escucho. Si me cuesta demasiado, entonces trabajo en eso, ¿verdad? Aparte de lo que vemos acá en clase, ustedes se dedican a, como a trabajar más el listening. Si usted sabe que ese es como, como su parte débil, ¿verdad? En este proceso. Okay. Y el listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Si usted eh, al momento de producir algo en, en escrito también, como que tiene un poco de dificultad, entonces es momento de ponerle atención a eso. Ok, Berenice. Eh, sí, con respecto a lo de las evaluaciones que se estaban hablando de las tareas que, la, que ya las hicimos en la plataforma, parece como que ya están hechas, se nos va a informar si se actualiza, porque sí. imagino que la mayoría les aparece igual. Sí, Berenice, yo les voy a informar. De hecho, pues mañana me voy a dedicar a... a, a a pasar esas notas a modo de que pues ya, ya aparezcan en, en el documento que se nos pide a nosotros, ¿ok? Si okay. algo no está actualizado, pues yo, yo lo voy a informar para, para poder ver ya los resultados en la plataforma. Ok, gracias. 
Ok. En un momento les comparto el enlace. Si no hay más preguntas, nos quedamos acá. Y nos vemos el día lunes. Ok. Okay. okay. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend, people. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Sweet dreams, partners.